So back in 2014, I had the chance to talk to a guy called Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith was in the business of prototyping. So his customers were Siemens, ABB and the like. And he was complaining a lot on the phone because his AdWords account just got blocked. And he said like, well, that just can't be true. You, you guys, you just block my account after I'm like one or two days overdue. But me, on the other hand, I always have to wait two or three months until my customers pay their invoices. So then my two future co-founders and I, we did some research. And turns out that 378,000 SMEs in the DAC region say that access to liquidity is their most pressing issues. So it's not the go-to-market strategy. It's not finding the right talent. It's literally the long payment terms on what they are struggling the most with. And that is exactly where we come in. Advanon, in its most basic version, is an online platform that allows SMEs to sell or pre-finance their open invoices through financial investors. So let's take Mr. Smith again. He can deliver his prototypes, write an invoice to Siemens or ABB, upload his invoice, and he gets the cash in 24 hours by, in the meanwhile, more than 500 investors. That's how we started. In, uh, in the meanwhile, we can also split invoices among several investors, and we are currently looking into how we can pool money on the investor side. But not only that, we also partnered up with accounting software, so we link our platform directly into the accounting software, so not only to make it a very, very easy for Mr. Smith, so beside of every invoice, he sees our logo, asking, hey, do you want, uh, do you want to cash in 24 hours rather than three months? But it's also super important for us because we get more, more and real-time data that allows us to train our credit risk algorithm in a very efficient way. Also, we have partnered up with banks, three in Switzerland, and uh, we also started with a pilot with Deutsche Bank in, in Germany that allows them to offer a product to customers that were previously non-accessible. So to give you an overview, our average ticket size is around 19,000 euros, with a median of uh, being ar around 11,000. So banks usually don't have the processes that allow these small tickets to channel through in a very efficient way. And we can do that, so therefore we can help them offer that, that product to, to their customers. We started around two years ago, in August 2015, we managed to channel more than 41 million in, in volume through the platform. We grew by a bit more than 70% quarter over quarter. But what I think is, is the best number are the unit economics. So we, only within 4.9 months, we are able to recover our acquisition costs from, from, our, from our customers. We have a 63% recurring customer rate. So that, that, turns, uh, that says that our customers are quite happy and it's really our product is useful for the market that we are in. But even more importantly, we started with this basic platform, as I said. But where does the journey go to? Where do we want to go? So we, we focused a lot on SMEs. And what we've seen, there is, a, there is a huge need for liquidity, as I said in the beginning. But it turns out the liquidity need is only the tipping point of the issue. The issue starts way earlier, and the issue is, is that they don't really know how to deal with their financing. So what we have seen is that usually towards the end of the month, they, have, they are running into problems because they see they have to pay uh, the salaries and there is no liquidity on the, on the bank account. And then they're like, whoa, what, what do we have to do? So by linking our platform to several data sources, to like uh, accounting softwares, or, and others are like e-invoice providers, etc. We get more data, we get more real-time data, and we can actually tell them on where they stand with their, with their financing. So we can tell them where they stand as compared to their competitors, as compared to other SMEs, and more importantly, we can make sure that we can make them healthy. So we can tell them how they have to structure it. And this is where we really see the long-term the long impact that we can have on the SMEs all over Europe, and hopefully all over the world soon. So this is really something that we deeply care about, that we can make our customers more successful, and we see that we can actually do that by getting these data points. Where are we right now? We are at the first stage, the, the platform is existing, but we also made very big steps into the real-time credit risk. I'm really proud and happy that our, that our machine learning team made significant steps forward 
and is already is already ready with uh, with uh, an algorithm that helps us assessing the risk on our platform, but also potentially helping our SMEs to sell uh, to say how big their risk is in their portfolio. So that is something how we can make a huge impact, and we're really looking forward for the next five years and what it brings for us. Who is behind all that? We are a team of three founders that met while working at Google. It's uh, Philip from Sweden, Stein from Holland, and myself from Switzerland. We are very happy and proud that we were able to add an additional 30 people to our team, mainly focused on tech, machine learning, and our product development. It's really something that, that I'm personally the proudest about. I think our team is amazing, and it's, it's such a pleasure to work there every day and that they challenge us on a daily basis and we're really looking forward to push the boundaries together with our team over the upcoming years. That's a short overview about us. Thank you very much and here are some quotes from our customers. Thank you. <laughs>